The iPhone 12 Pro Max and Huawei Mate 40 Pro are two of the world's first devices to house 5 nanometer. Process no technology within their chipsets. The iPhone 12 Pro Max comes paired with Apple's latest and greatest A14 Bionic chip, run on 5 nanometer tech, and it has a max clock speed of 3.1 gigahertz, while the Huawei has a max clock speed of 3.13 gigahertz on its high silicon Kirin 9005 nanometer chipset. The iPhone comes paired with 6 gigs of LPDD. DDR4X RAM while we have LPDDR5 RAM on the Huawei that being 8 gigs. We have updated them to their latest available software and we're going to be using the max resolution on both displays here so rocking the Mate 40 all the way up to high to match that of the 12 Pro Max. We're also going to be utilizing the 90Hz feature on the Mate 40 Pro we're unfortunately stuck to 60 on the 12 Pro Max and we're going to be enabling high performance mode and making sure all animation scales are set to 1x since you can't remove them on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Round 1 will be all about boot fingerprint and face unlock. Round 2 will be all about initial opening app speed and round three will be all about RAM management. Using my fingers over here so to keep things accurate we're going to pop GoPro footage at the bottom left hand corner. This is Technic and without further ado let's go. We're going to start here with a simple boot to see which one can power on quickest and it is indeed allocated to the iPhone 12 Pro Max getting its first point in round one with 15 seconds as opposed to 20.5 seconds on the Mate 40 Pro. Now jumping into the actual app icons on the home screen, the Mate 40 Pro is slightly quicker picking up its first point in round one. Now we're going to be testing out the 3D face unlock on both devices over here. They both use top lenses and the iPhone was faster every single time picking up its second point in round one. Now we're going to go ahead and test out the other trick up the Mate 40 Pro's sleeve and that is in indeed the optical fingerprint sensor underneath the screen. Comparing it to Apple's 3D face unlock, it was quicker one out of three times, the rest was a draw. So the Huawei Mate 40 Pro picked up its second and final points in round one, making things matched over there. Making sure we hooked up to the same Wi-Fi network, max brightness performance mode on the Mate 40 Pro and all apps closed in the background. The Mate 40 Pro opened up the settings app quicker, as well as the calculator app quicker, picking up its first and second points in round two over here. Next app that we're gonna jump into, next system app that is, is indeed the camera app. And going into that, one, the iPhone 12 Pro Max opened it up slightly quicker, flicking over to the selfie cam, though they brightened up at the same time, the Mate 40 Pro did indeed flip to it quicker, and the 12 Pro Max took the snap quicker, so now two points for the 12 Pro Max as opposed to three on the Mate 40 Pro. The Mate 40 Pro opened up the Photos app quicker, but the iPhone loaded the page quicker, so no point was allocated. However, the iPhone 12 Pro Max went into the photo, we just took slightly quicker, making it three for three. Now four points toward the iPhone over here, opening up Photoshop Mix, since Photoshop Express doesn't seem to be working on iOS 14 quite yet. We're going to be jumping into one of the photos over here and getting into that. Here we go. Which one can open it up quicker? It is indeed the iPhone 12 Pro Max not picking up its fifth points as opposed to the three on the Mate 40 Pro. But which one can export it to gallery is slightly quicker over here. The NVMe storage on the iPhone 12 or UFS 3.1 on the Mate 40 Pro. It is indeed the Mate 40 Pro, but just a hair of a second quicker that time around. Now just one point trailing behind the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Going into Adobe Rush over here, a video editing app. The Mate 40 Pro opened the app up quicker, making at 5 for 5. Now 6 points towards the Mate 40 Pro since it opened up the project a hell of a lot quicker. We're going to go ahead and render this 4K 25 frames per second video file and we're going to compress it down to 1080p and match the frame rates of 25 frames per second. Now I usually speed things up when I hit export over here but I'm going to leave them at real time so that you guys can see the difference between NVMe storage on the iPhone 12 Pro Max as well as UFS 3.1 storage on the Huawei Mate 40 Pro. Hitting export over here you can just see the sure speed on the iPhone 12 Pro Max NVMe storage 4.5 seconds even quicker than its predecessor of around 6 seconds and the Mate 40 Pro taking quite a while but still does it in decent time at 12 seconds many Android phones around do it in over 15 seconds so 6 points a piece so far so good for both devices running this fancy new 5 nanometer tech going into Spotify via a music streaming app the iPhone 12 Pro Max open it up just a hair of a second quicker than the Huawei Mate 40 Pro and jumping into Astral VPN since we need a VPN here in China the 12 Pro Max opened it up quicker and they turned them on at the same time. There was a little loading icon in the center of the screen there, which disappeared on the iPhone by the time the Mate 40 Pro actually turned it on. However, the Mate 40 Pro opened up Google Chrome slightly quicker. Very strange since it doesn't support Google Apps. Nevertheless, seven points, just one point behind the 12 Pro Max. Now matching the 12 Pro Max after opening and loading the entire page of Facebook slightly quicker than that of the 12 Pro Max. Now it's eight points a piece, eight 
high once more. I wasn't expecting it to be this close, but the iPhone 12 Pro Max quickly skips ahead here, getting at its ninth point after opening up Instagram and taking a look at Aaron over there and jumping into our next app, which is indeed Twitter. The Mate 40 Pro opens that one up quicker, evening the scoreboard once more. Next app is indeed YouTube and jumping into that one. Unfortunately, we can't be signed in on my Mate 40 Pro over here because it lacks Google services, but it did indeed open the app quicker. Another Google app quicker than the iPhone over here, picking up its 10th point. Now we're going to jump into my channel over here and searching for it, which one can search for it faster. It is indeed the iPhone 12 Pro Max now matching the 10 points of the Mate 40 Pro and going into my actual channel, the Mate 40 Pro opened it up quicker, but the 12 Pro Max loaded it quicker. So no point was allocated over there. Going into one of my videos, the Mate 40 Pro surprisingly opened it up quicker, played it quicker and loaded the page quicker, picking up its 11th point, once again, taking the lead ahead of the 12 Pro Max. The next app that we're going to be diving into now is indeed Netflix and which one can get to the profile section quicker. It is indeed the Mate 40 Pro picking up its 12th point now with a two point lead, but going into my actual profile, the 12 Pro Max was slightly quicker, now just one point between the two devices once more. Going into Geekbench 5 over here, the Mate 40 Pro opened it up quicker, but now we're going to go ahead and run the CPU benchmark testing out single core and multi-core over here. And remember we have 3.1 gigahertz on the iPhone 12 and 3.13 gigahertz on the Mate 40 Pro, but for single core, we got a better score on the iPhone 12 Pro Max and it finished quicker as well, quite a lot quicker, almost a 30, well, pretty much a 34 seconds quicker, picking up its 12th point in round two. Now we're jumping into wildlife over here, made by 3D Mark and the iPhone opened it up quicker, matching the 13 points on the Mate 40 Pro, speeding it up once more, slowing it back down to get to the final results. The iPhone 12 Pro Max picks up its 14th point here, doing it two seconds quicker than the Mate 40 Pro and getting a tiny bit of a better score with a slight better FPS reading over here. The iPhone and the Huawei both dim their displays over here because of overheating, though the iPhone did it worse. So I gave it a minute or two before we jump into Subway Surfers. Going into Subway Surfers over here, which one can open the first game up quicker? It is indeed the Huawei Mate 40 Pro, now with 14 points apiece on both devices. And the second game jumping into now is indeed Temple Run 2. That little message that popped up did say that you don't have Google services. Nevertheless, we got into the app quicker on the Huawei Mate 40 Pro now picking up its 15th points in round two. Second last game, second last app of the 20 of year is indeed a binge worthy game called Among Us. I'm sure you guys have heard of it. Nevertheless, the Huawei Mate 40 Pro snags its 16th points, opening this one up slightly quicker than the 12 Pro Max. Now with a two point lead over the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Going into our last game, last app of the 20 is indeed PUBG Mobile. A lot longer to load than other games. 10.5 seconds on the iPhone 12 Pro Max, as opposed to 17.5 on the Mate 40 Pro. Very quick for iPhone over there, picking up its 15th and final points in round two. So just one point behind the Mate 40 Pro. Now remember, we do have six gigs of RAM on the iPhone 12, as opposed to eight on the Mate 40 Pro, but neither of them should have any issues keeping 20 apps open in the background. What matters here is the speed of the RAM. We're stuck to LPDDR4 X RAM on the iPhone 12, and we have the nice new LPDDR5 RAM on the Mate 40 Pro. So it opens apps up slightly quicker over here, but when it comes to RAM management, keeping these apps open in the background, neither of them have any issues. So zero points for both devices in round three. Total score here 17 points for the iPhone 12 Pro Max just one shy of the 18 points allocated to the Mate 40 Pro if we focus on just raw performance we're looking at round two over here we got 15 points for the 12 Pro Max as opposed to 16 points for the Mate 40 Pro so on paper it seems like the Mate 40 Pro is a tad quicker in certain things but the 12 Pro Max is a tad quicker in other things especially in the benchmark department I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it a sub to the channel would be fantastic this is Technic and I'll see you in the next one